say last time is that I fixed the upright GIF and I pulled out my good microphone. And uh, we should be ready to go to do some more Paper Mario Pro mode tonight. I gotta actually load up the emulator now. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing great again. I, uh, All right. That's fantastic to hear. I underestimated right. how much time it would take to move <laughs> basically by myself and my dad's truck. So. Alright. It's that one that brings us over to the game. Sorry, no more animated GIFs, which I spent a half hour fixing the upper right GIF. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> You spent a half Finally. hour fixing one part of it just to have it on screen for less than a minute. I fixed one gift on the intermission screen. All right, to the game. All right, so if I remember right, uh, this was three weeks ago, because, yeah, two weeks ago would have been, like, when I was crunched for my portfolio, and a week ago I thought I could stream, but I had yeah, no. too much moving to do. <laughs> Last time Moving. we left off on promo, we had started Chapter 7. That sounds right. Started Chapter 7 yes. and uh, we was... Junior, we got through Junior Trooper 5, which uh, was a little bit irritating because of the invisibility. We also dealt with Monstar, uh -huh. who was still as pathetic as ever, only one attack <laughs> still. And I think we were just about to hit up the, uh, the Crystal Palace, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That sounds right. And hopefully being off of a game for two weeks doesn't make me too darn rusty, because one thing I remember about Chapter 7 enemies is that they suck. So... And yeah, uh, Junior Trooper 5 is just like, you can't hit me for five turns, and you don't have the uh, star power star beam to do anything about it, so... I am so looking forward to having that, which, like, you, you never use Star Beam outside of the Bowser battle in the original Paper Mario. So, it's weird to say that. I tried to remove Charge from a Koopa Troll once. It didn't work, because the animation apparently <laughs> kept the power charge. Well, that'll be interesting once you show Junior Trivia. Maybe you beat him so fast, Cappy, that he just didn't turn invisible. Well, that's a possibility. Potentially. Yeah, he, he stays invisible and just for like, what, four, five turns? I counted five, I think. It was pretty dang long. I was, I, I was expecting something, given how fast the first part of the fight went. Yep. Remember right, I picked up the scarf and bucket and called it a stream, so... Yes, that's not right. Oh yeah, uh, look forward to... We're probably gonna see albino dinos in battle. Just just a guess, but that's a good prediction, uh, Darth Mohawk. Check those archives, Cappy. Okay. Evening, Kishin. Alright, up the path we go. In what I guess is technically the glitchiest room in Paper Mario. I'm sorry, this isn't that kind of stream, but... Yeah. No, no, no. That would definitely be that no, Lava no, Piranha room. Good. Or not Lava <laughs> Piranha, but like the one big room with the metal block. Okay in the volcano. It's full of invisible Colorados. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so have I updated Cooper yet? Yes, I have.
Hooper <laughs> just plows through so many things in this chapter. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we'll be seeing a lot of them. Maybe more than one of them. Evening, Mayoshi. Alright, let's try blowing one of these guys up again. Hopefully I can use the ledge here. Oh, no. Okay. Bomb bed is not bobbery. I cannot throw bomb bed onto the ledge. <laughs> Yeah, man. Okay, I'm in a favorable situation here. There we go. I'll take advantage of your programming favor, Mario. Hell yeah. All right. Can smack really the best you see? Right. Pan trying to think if the shell shot does seven or not. Uh, we could always do it on the frost prana and just take the rock to the head. Yeah, it should do seven. It does do seven. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, I forgot. There we go. Merly comes in to save the day. I apologize if it doesn't seem like I'm paying too much attention. I'm also in another chapter, just discussing things with people. Alright. I'm bad again here. I'm about to say, am I gonna clip this piranha plant on the edge of its hitbox too? Come on, sit over. Yeah, the dirt just appear right underneath me. Sure, sure. At least I can knock these guys out in one turn. But oh, good lord. Uh. There we go. I am not uh, messing around with enemy attacks at this point. I mean, I've died here in vanilla Paper Mario before, so it's like, nope. Not even gonna give you a chance to attack. Does this room have a star piece panel? I don't believe it does. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, hey, Ultra Shroom. I'll take that. Oh, but seriously? No more items? Seriously? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's something. Oh, I, I had the item menu. <laughs> best selling ever. That's all right. The fact that I'm at max items means that I'm going to have to shuffle around with the rock later on to open the doors or whatever. Or or stuff a cookie in the doors. I mean, that works too, so. Now, the last time I played Paper Mario, it was Mario alone, so I didn't mess this up. The time before that, I put this up to a vote, and it proved that voters are morons. <laughs> <laughs> so, executive override, authoritarian, totally no democracy for you guys. Not happening again. <laughs> Alright, duplicates. Ooh, I haven't even gotten a tattle in on these guys. 
Let's go they ahead and do that. Four attacks, so they'll be doing eight damage. All right. All right, fifteen and ten. And right now I have plus three, so I would do six twelve. So I'm not gonna one round KO. All right. Yeah, let's just evening, everyone. start off by getting some damage in on both of them. There we go. Welcome to the uh, voice group there. I'm assuming that was you, Dark Mario. A rare sight to behold. Watch, Bo slap the shit out of Goombario? Question mark? <laughs> there we go. So as long as we keep our wits about us, the duplicate shouldn't be too difficult. I fought Shan after all, so, and totally cheesed his fight, but still. Uh, the pebbles down here. Uh... On one hand, it's like, I have a lot of good healing items, but at the same time, it's like, do I really want to use one of them? Especially since a lot of them heal a lot of HP and whatnot. Oh, lordy. I mean, if anything, you could probably use the fire pop. Heals 20 FP, but lose 1 HP. D do you lose the 1 HP on the field, out of curiosity? I've never... I you know what? So. You know what? Oh, yeah, let's yeah, let's eat it. So. Oh wait, I thought, I actually thought that said HP, and I'm just like, oh wait, oh. no, it takes away 1 HP. Whatever. You do lose 1 HP. Now, does that mean you can die from eating a fire pop? You can't die on the overworld. Conspiracy theory. Only in battle, I think. Alright, I'll, I'll take your word that for it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna pull out some star power right now, especially since I'm pretty close to leveling up, and I'm gonna want to go to Tandolin, and I just don't want to have to deal with getting bonked in the head like a dozen times and dying, so guess what? Chill out right now. <laughs> just... Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't think they swing their uh, maces nearly as many times as the red clubs. Well, we'll find out. In vanilla, they only swing them three times at the most, doing three damage each. All right, good. Extra good. There we go. Don't even have to worry about it. All right. Oh, you sounded fine, Dark Mario. You didn't sound too loud. All That's a relief to hear. <laughs> Evening, Dark Mario. Wait, 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 hold on. Did he... Did Gumbario only do two damage to that white clubber? I haven't upgraded yeah. him. Oh, okay. Isn't that an upgrade? There is an upgrade block very close to here, so. Well, I'll tell you this, Cappy. White clubbers, like, they were not to be messed with, so I was not gonna mess with them. At least they're not the big red clubbers in Chapter 3. My <laughs> Dear God, yeah, those no. are horrible. I, re I remember when I saw that, and I'm just like, oh, those are a thing. Indeed. And with this, we have ultra-ranked all of our partners, so uh, we can go over to our uh, party screen and be like, two dots, two dots, two dots, two dots, two dots, yes! <laughs> there we go. On the note of that Junior Trupo fight, I am very surprised that you got unlucky with that five turn transparency, Miles. <laughs> Is that not always five turns, you're saying? Well, in my run, <laughs> I only got the luck of three turns, so I was just able to out of sight and maybe just tank one hit. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know there was luck involved. I'm pretty sure mine was closer to five. So the game uh, doesn't let me shuffle and throw away items, so I guess that shooting star will stay there for now. Anyway, continue. So I was actually talking with uh, one of the people in Cappy's Discord earlier, um, Swordfest slash Olmi, and he's actually been doing Luigi's Challenge in pro mode. Nice! I've only watched the first part so far, though. 
Yeah, I better get to the super bosses because I've been seeing some videos about super bosses and I'm like, no, can't watch yet. We'll get there next week. <laughs> All right, time to listen to Madame Merlar and fall asleep, everybody. Intermission time, right? Intermission? No, I won't actually put up the intermission screen. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I have to wonder just what the stats and albino battles will be if it is true that they're actually coded in for battle. In the original game, they had four defense and were immune to fire, I think. Oh, based on the I title. remember reading something about that, yeah, so we'll see. They'll probably have custom animations, too. I forgot if they were even a functioning enemy originally, so... I Yeah, I don't remember if they were or not. There we go. Yeah, well, uh, we'll get a chance to see all that uh, pretty soon, uh, Pete. But first, uh, we got to take on the Crystal Palace, so. I did watch Cappy's uh, low HP run the Cooper Brothers Super Boss, and I'm just like, damn, Cappy, that's that's really good. <laughs> well, just before Chapter 2 is before you can start reliably getting life shrooms, so I presume he did something to avoid getting bonked by the Cooper Pro Super uh, fly at you attack that does a bajillion damage or whatever it does. Don't spoil anything. All I will say is he did find a way around taking too much damage and letting them get too many buffs up. Alright. You know what? You're a bit different. Actually, no, I will try to bump at you. Bump at. Boom! Gotcha! There we go. I think you might have actually already passed up the last super block. Yeah, I'll top that clip, that is the last super block. Are you still missing an upgrade on Lackalester? I got no. him to level 2 before uh, Huff and Puff. I got everyone. I it was, was just on my suggestion that he upgrade Lackalester to Ultra Rank, because that's what I usually do during the casual runs. And you convinced me. You made a good argument. So, but yeah, uh, party. Two, 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 two. They're all Ultra Rank. Okay, so I guess I, I guess I missed that then. All right, just making sure. All right. I'm chuckling at the fact that I see the red jar in your important items menu. <laughs> I have a oh yeah <laughs> just sitting there <laughs> didn't finish up the uh the Koopa Koot Favis nope nope if uh, we get done with Crystal Palace early uh since we're doing super bosses next week uh I, I do also want to get the the star beam uh we'll, yeah, uh, star beam would be advised mm-hmm uh, we'll uh, we'll go do Koopa Koot favors if we have more time afterwards. Anyway, time for Crystal Palace. Uh, all right. I still have that uh, artifact that I haven't given to Colorado, and I don't plan on doing that at all. My artifact. I'm gonna sell it on eBay. <laughs> all right. Oh, that was way too early on the ultra jump. Uh, three of them in one battle. You know, it's kind of crummy that I don't have a multi-hit attack that doesn't consume, like, a buttload of FP right now. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, I suppose the closest thing that I have is the Spiny Surge. I don't think that consumes too much. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, that one's actually pretty good. Yeah, Spiny Surge is fine. It's only four. That did the trick. Yeah, I'm hoping to see at least a couple changes in Crystal Palace. I know, uh, I know Clover's mentioned that he's want to do more for Chapter Six and Seven, so. But I hopefully we'll see a couple things. And oh Lord, that's pretty much the same setup here.
just before the level up. All right. Okay, now is this the key or one of our badges? Oh, that's the blue key, okay. You know, I may have played Paper Mario like a dozen times, but I always forget exactly where <laughs> everything is in the dungeons and that includes the Crystal Palace. So I'm like, okay, I know there's going to be keys and I know we're going to get our uh, P, up, down, D, down, up badges. So does that key open this door or does it open the door upstairs? Upstairs, okay. It's because it's a blue key, Miles Luigi. Pay attention to your important items. You always got to make sure to take the wrong paths before you take the right ones. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I just gotta pretend I'm a pathfinding algorithm, that's all. Man, I keep doing that, pulling up the wrong either item or partner menu. I think I would have gotten it by now. Alright. Uh, in any case, uh, your coins. I know Dark Mario Cooper hits ground enemies, all of them, for really cheap on the FP, so uh, that is very useful <laughs> when you want to kill everything fast. Saved me a heck of a lot of FP during my runs. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Now that we know that duplicates aren't horrible, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take care of the White Club first. Haha, <laughs> one round KO. I love it. I cannot wait to see you take on the gauntlet for this chapter, though. I had a little bit of trouble with that. Ooh, gauntlets have not gotten that far, so... In fact, I think I saved Chapter 5's gauntlet, so... The only gauntlet I would not have done would have been chapter, uh, well, eights, because I haven't gotten that far yet, so. Hey, you know what? Not even really worth changing partners right now. There we go. All right, so do I want to do more moves or do I want to survive longer? Eh, I kind of like this parody of FPP and just wonder HP, so we're going to keep it that way. All right. More FP, more options. More FP, more options. I have FP healing items, so... It's nice to have a bigger pool to work with. All right. There's a star piece. Alright, if I remember right, this is a jam and jelly, but my items are full, so like I'm not even gonna Not even gonna bother. Sure, let's just run into every enemy. Uh, well, there's definitely a point you make here, um, uh, Darth, is that Quake Hammer uh, is being exceptionally useful, especially for somebody with my kind of playstyle, so... The camber is good. Alright. Uh... Let's go with the deeper option here. Spiny Surge. Oh, plus two. Oof. <laughs> and somebody like Goombario, that would hurt. Okay, then. All right. Fun fact about the Duplo Ghost, by the way, and I'm not sure if you actually know this or not, but uh, if you use Watt's Electro Dash when they're disguised as any partner that isn't Watt, they'll actually get shocked back to their normal form. Oh, really? That's mm -hmm. interesting. And they can't, they don't transform for the rest of the battle. I learn something new.
Yeah, I know it's the same battle strategy, but like it, it works, so <laughs> I'm not gonna deviate from it, you know? <laughs> Let the Magikoopas run away in fear. On the note of that red Magic Koopa, <laughs> we're talking about how Goombario, that would've been devastating. What about Bo, though? Oh, Lord. Yeah, th that's a very good point, because I don't think this game does the damage scaling that Thousand Year Door does, so I think it would just be straight 3-3-3-3, three, 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 ouch, pain. So. <laughs> Ow. And then it gets doubled on Mario, so, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. That would be 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Six, six. Duplicos just became Master 3. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'll wake you up in the morning. Oh, there we go. Is this one of our... This is one of our badges. There we go. Yeah, I think I have to run on over to the other side to go get the other badge, which I should do because, you know, uh, strategy-wise, the down-up badges are good if implemented right, though I gotta say, uh, P-up, D-down, extremely risky here in pro mode. Just die on counterattack if I don't kill on turn one using that badge. Alright, let's get this tattle in. This is the one that turns guys invisible. Kind of shenanigans. Alright, I feel like I should use the star power here. You know what? Timeout was total garbage to me when I tested it. Will it continue to be total garbage? Let's find out! It probably will be, given your luck. Given. Well, my luck fluctuates between very lucky and very unlucky, so. It worked on scale. one enemy, <laughs> and We're not on the, the enemy I really wanted. <laughs> Unlucky to anti-guy Lucky Stars fight. Well, <laughs> I'm just going to say the Magic Koopas could have done something brilliant by putting both of the uh, things on bow, both the power-up yeah. and the invisibility, and I would have been like, well, like rip! This. Anyway, I don't want to deal with invisible enemies, so you need to die now. I know, Cappy. I mean, I could have been totally <laughs> yeah. SOL. Well. I gotta thank goodness I have that one defense. <laughs> you just continue getting stronger, but that's enough for you. Once again, the red Magic Koopa could have really, really put me in an extremely bad spot if yeah. he would have powered up the Why other guy. It? So I, well, I guess that's where my luck went. Not the right term early, but okay, I'll take it. Not quite. Thanks Tried. for the help, Merle. <laughs> Merle was just preparing just in case Bo had the power. <laughs> just, back. just, just in case. This is something I should probably try to record off stream and see if a powered up Bo just completely destroys you. If it doesn't end up having this stream, all I think I should yeah. record that. Yes, definitely do that. I agree. It'll make me jealous that I can't power up my own bow to overpowered levels. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Shooting star. If only. Okay. Nothing like permanent stackable attack and defense buffs. Oh jeez. I'm just gonna say the the stackable attack could do more than plus two, plus four. Uh rip Mario. Oh lord. Uh, I need to get to the other side, and I'm on the second floor. I had to think for a sec here, so let's quick take care of this before we move on. 
picked up the red key, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Never mind then. Did you actually go outside the uh, upper door and get the star piece in that one alcove? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Alright. Actually, do I have to go downstairs first or no? Okay, I'm here. Alright, we're good. What was this? This is one of those crazy segments with a ton of big bows. Fun times. And unfortunately, I'm not playing the Japanese version where I could do fun shenanigans with this, so... Unfortunately. Miles, have you ever struck Bombed on purpose in this part? No, I haven't. Neither have I. Are you telling me I need to blow myself up because it's probably what's going to happen? Well, she does say after you get all of it right that she would have bombed you the next time you napped if you'd hit her. I didn't even move Bombettes. She was the imposter. Okay, it just starts the boss battle. Okay. <laughs> all right. At least I get a chance to d take care of the boss battle before Bombed blows me up, so I got something to look forward to. Alright, don't become flying, don't become flying. Just don't become flying, guys, please. Stay on the ground. I'm Everybody's becoming Bombed, seriously. Oh. Well, you ruined it. <laughs> You ruined it, last Dupla Ghosts. Now you gotta use Fire Shell. <laughs> oh, wow. darn it. Good idea. Should have used Fire Shell. Good point. Although, I exited at that battle without Bombet, so... Um... Sequence breaking being blown up? <laughs> okay. Would have been more FP if you used Fire Shell. I don't even know if you would actually get bombed the next time you take a nap. I don't know, I've never done that. I've never done that either, and I guess it just initiates the boss battle, so... You somehow convinced me to whack my own partner. Good job, everybody. Even when it's not a democracy, <laughs> I hurt my partner as I'm a bad guy. Oh, well, according to Locos Dokos, she doesn't actually do it, so whatever. Uh, main reason why I'm using Quake Hammer is just because how effective it is right now, Darth. I do know I have Power Quake. I, I pick up Mega Quake. I might have. Um, haven't needed that extra attack I'm power sure greatly. You... Yeah, I know for a fact that you have Mega Quake. Alright, I'm about to say, do you talk to me, or can I first strike you? I forgot. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no conversation. There's our Albino Dino, by the way. Holy crap, is he huge. Wow, that is a big Albino Dino. Oh, boy. Whoa. That's cool, but whoa. I was so happy when I, fought, when I finally fought this creature. Okay, then. 20 HP high defense, if I read Gumbario's title correctly. Ugh. Uh, this one's gonna hurt, so... Uh, let's try to just get rid of the clubber first as soon Ooh. as possible. Let's see how much attack power these suckers have. If you have a successful guard, though. Successful guard, okay. Whew. That's not so bad. That could have been worse. But let's, uh, let's find out how much defense these guys have. We're gonna pull up Cooper and just do a known attack, a shell toss, which does five damage. It does one damage, so that's four defense. Which, what, that which matches the tattle? Four defense. Yep, Ugh. it's the highest defense in the game, actually. Really? Okay. No. Not counting Ken C. Koopa? Yeah, Ken C. Koopa has... Oh, good point, yeah. He he does have more. I think Ken C actually had even more defense than he did in vanilla. He had six in vanilla. 
I think he actually had eight in Chrome. <laughs> I mean, not, not sure. like I'd ever use anything on D downbound or whatever, like on him. So I don't know. I couldn't say for certain. Yeah, you run away. <laughs> Go ahead, build your tiny gun, then run! And if none of you get that reference, then I don't know what to say. Alright, what FP item should I use here? Well, I kind of want to see what I get off the cookie cookie. Uh, so the Electro Pop for 15 okay, FP strength yes. should Dark be good. Okay, Mohawk did confirm that Ken C does have 8 in promo. Well... That's a lot of defense. Wow. Hey, Frogzard, good on you for getting the reference. Not changing strategy, too good. <laughs> I came prepared. I ate cookies. I have energy to do to this. This is about the point, since I almost always upgrade HP last, this is about the point where I have like 50 FP every run. So then I can just fire shell, multi bounce, quake hammer, whatever, like every battle. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, I, I can't hold Cooper out like I can hold out Coops. I was just about to do that, but I'm like, wait, I can't do that. Don't worry, I made that mistake first, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Don't forget to get triple dip. That's in the room up here, if I remember right, and that is a bombable wall, so... Yes. Uh, thanks for that reminder. I will, uh, I will do that, actually. Now, the dip badges are normally not bad, as I have strategies for, but... Damn, are they very utilitarian, and I can see myself using one or two in Chapter 8, so... I will say that Cappy did use double dip. I think he actually used double dip. Well, actually, no, he didn't use double dip, because he wouldn't have had it at that point. But he did use the Hustle Drink in the Blue Bros. Super Boss. Alrighty, then. How about that? Yeah, Spike, uh, the first time I played Paper Mario, I had no idea how to get up to that treasure chest. I did not know that that wall was actually bomb. Alright, at the rate I'm burning through FP doing a refresher is not a bad idea. And then I can just smack the shit out of somebody here and narrow the numbers down. Interestingly enough, I just used all that FP I just healed to do this smack, but whatever. <laughs> Not like you have any FP healing items in this uh, dungeon. I think there is a jam and jelly you can get from a hidden block. Yeah, yeah and a maple syrup, if memory serves. Yes, I believe so. So you might not need it anyway for the rest of this. Actually, no, you're in this room. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. There we go, that's our chest. I was wondering if it was in a room further up or this room. That should be uh, attack effects. There's an attack effects F now? What sound does that make? I don't remember there being an F. <laughs> it was, the badge was changed. Oh boy. 
Yeah, Triple Dope is elsewhere, and oddly enough, uh, um, what's her, Mer Lovely? She actually does, like, sort of give a hint to where it is. Even though she didn't know that Spike Shield had been moved. <laughs> well then. But yeah, the, the sound effect is like the flowers from Forever Forest, if I remember. Yeah, I was about to say. That did sound familiar to me when I turned the volume on my phone up. Yeah, because it's... It was actually an unused badge in the original, and for some reason there's like five copies of it in the game. What? <laughs> well then. Alright. Should I go with defensive maneuvers? I should go with defensive maneuvers. Uh, Cloud9. I do like the new attack. <laughs> Defensive <laughs> maneuvers. Cloud nine. Because evasion is defense. You could have also just fire shelled and had the uh, the invisible magic but whatever. Of course the invisible guy starts invisible thanks promo mode. Ugh. Actually, you know what? There we go. Oh, don't, don't, don't! I did a miss! That's no good! Actually, why am I pulling up Paracarry? Smack this asshole! Oh, all or nothing. It's so nice that all or nothing at least tells you when you really did miss the action command, as if it wasn't obvious. Miss! Did Thousand Year Door not pull up a miss text when you missed with all or nothing? No, it just made the uh, no damage tank noise. Yeah, I'd say that was sufficiently annoying, Mario Kart expert. <laughs> Agreed. There we go. Oh, it's this room. All right. Mario Kart expert, if you want to throw some suggestions to Clover, go ahead. He, he does have suggestions, though. He's been absent as of late. I haven't seen an update to promo yet, so... Not since this version, unfortunately. Now, do we get a boss battle if we smack Krooper? Yes. I've done it myself. Yes, you do. Really? But you miss out on funny text, and do you really need the eight extra star points? Hmm. Hey, whatever, Cappy. 10 FP for zero damage Mega Bomb is totally worth it. Yeah, the nerf to, to air raid and the fact that power bomb was nerfed by two is a little excessive, or at least like the FP cost upgrades accompanying that definitely didn't need to be done. You know that actually reminds me about something, Miles. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Cappy was doing his uh, low HP run through chapter two, he was using the first version of Pro Mode. Mm-hmm. So the normal damage for Bombette's power bomb, oh. and I imagine that this—I imagine that fat guy is playing the, uh, the the most recent version with his uh, blind run, and Bombette had six damage on her power bomb there as well. I'm hmm. not sure though. No, he's playing 1.5, 1. 1. or 0.1.5, 1. 1.6 is the current. 
Ah, uh, okay, so... His, uh, his version also had a mega HP drain in some random tree. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. When I saw that, I was just like, oh, that's not supposed to be there. And there's an entry in the changelog that says that's not supposed to be there. So that's still kind of funny to just pick up a random mega HP train in dry, dry desert when you don't have the attack power to use it. I, I kind of like it. I almost wish it was kept. Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, you go to the edge of the screen. No oh, first strike for me. Another invisible asshole. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that uh, Fat Guy's actually uploaded that particular episode just yet, Kathy. Oh, there's that other bat. I totally forgot it's on the other side of the Crystal Palace. All right. So, yeah, we could be aggressively stupid or safe and secure and uh, slow. Yay, we did it. Go with the power game all the time, even <laughs> in pro mode. Power game. Hey, like... You can't take massive damage if you don't let your enemies attack. Why not both, Spike? Why not be down four edge points? Oh, we have to go to the other side in order to get the key. Why not both? Well, if you're playing Luigi's Challenge, it's only two badges down. You could probably put them on. That's as a yeah, gag. I actually, when I saw Omi's first part of his Luigi's Challenge run, uh, the BP screen did have uh, 64 BP, and every badge was one BP. Nice. Presumably accepting the ones that are normally zero. Well, I mean, it is 64 badges, so even the zero BP badges are probably now one BP, just because. Speedy Spin! We still need to pay for that. Oh, we got a partner who tran or a duple ghost that transformed into Watt. Look at that. I'm trying to think, how do you deal with the Watt duple ghost again? I totally forgot. I mean, you could probably still jump on it, I think, or you can carry, carry shell shot it. You know, what? I'm gonna find out. Can you jump on Watt today? You can jump on Watt, but it hurts you. Okay, we just smacked Watt. All right, good. There we go, palace key. Should be coming up on the room with the albino dinos, and I'm wondering, is the puzzle still there, or am I going to have to fight more than one of those big guys? Because, ugh, that was a big guy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we'll find out. find out. Puzzle or battle? I was just wondering how Crystal King's going to be changed up. We'll find out. You might laugh at how Crystal King has changed. Alright, it looks like we do still have to do uh, the puzzle bit first. Actually, I'm gonna get you over to the other one. When I first played this, I was really confused about this puzzle. I thought that there was a mirror on the other side, and so I was stuck <laughs> for this in like 20 minutes, I think. Never getting anywhere, huh? Oh, man. Flap, 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 flap. Down the staircase goes. 
You guys cool now? Was that I a guess? pun? <laughs> sure. Unintentional puns. All right. See, this badge setup is just rock solid. It just takes care of my needs. Uh, biggest thing with Crystal Queen, I'm going to be able to take all those bits before they destroy me. And I think I can use partners to do that, so I'm not even going to butts with that right now. But P down D up. But P down D up. But P down D up indeed. I don't so, think Quake Hammer is actually going to be useful for this fight. Yeah, Quake Hammer is going to be not usable. Oh, good point, good point. I don't suppose there's like something like Shrink Stomp that's useful on Crystal King. I mean, I could try. <laughs> Auto Deep Smash. Focus. <laughs> Deep Focus! <laughs> well, you know what? Power Rush, just in case the crazy happens, we'll, we'll put on Power Rush. Yeah, it could. Work. It could. Find out what shenanigans Pro Mode Crystal King has uh, up on his up up his sleeves. Just to say, this boss battle can't be that much different from his uh, um, uh, his rematch because you know, we're near the end of the game. So yeah, true enough. You're really looking forward to that whoa moment. Well, as to before, I think we could use partners to take out the bits. Um, all right, Spiny Surge to do the trick. I always forget whether those little enemies have like three or four HP or one HP, because it I seems think, rather arbitrary. I think oh, they son only of have a! One Arr! Arr! You can't jump on Crystal King anymore. Miami D down jump is totally useless. <laughs> Well, then. Yep. <laughs> That's a spike crown. Thanks for the pity, Merley. <laughs> I actually really needed that pity, Merley. Thank you. Let's finally get that tattle in. Okay. Well, uh, Crystal King's crown finally does a damn thing. Don't worry, I still believe in you. You can definitely do this. Okay. All right. I mean, we're going to have to do this via hammer attacks, which is uh, a lot less damage than a D-down jump, but still, I'll, I'll, I'll work with it, you know? I mean, that is true, Spike, but you can't jump on him anymore. Ow, that hurts. Ugh. All right, I think I should go with one of the buffs right now. Should I go with the Cloud Nine? Yeah, Cloud Nine. You know, I don't think I've ever really used Lackey Lester much before in this battle, but he's actually pretty useful, especially for the darn bits that come out, because you can just use him. <laughs> I do mean, not feel like dealing with a stupid bit surge attack, kill Mario one. Yeah, no, not happening. Not happening. There we go. He should start doing illusions pretty soon, which I could also use Spiny Surge on. He also has to. He has the 20 HP heal. That's right. Don't forget. I was half expecting that the crystal bits, two of them, were going to be spiky. Seeing as how the crown was spiky. I mean, they might be actually, because I haven't tried jumping on them. I've only done spiny surge on them, which takes care of them. Ow. <laughs> Uh, oh, that, that's the other heal. Okay. Now, he shouldn't heal anymore, but 
Uh, we'll we'll see about that. Well, I'm hoping yeah, so, feeling... Mario Kart expert. Yeah, feeling fine prevents everything in this game. It's not like in a uh, TTYD. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh my god, Dark Mario, did you really have to do that? I wanted to take the chance. I am not nailing that guard, ugh. Alright. Just to say, I'm surprised Crystal King hasn't done any illusions yet. He just does not waste his time at all. Oh, so, 7 plus 5 is 12, so... Ugh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go with the refresh, actually. Yeah, other than the fact that a couple status ailments, like, don't last as long, uh, Mario Kart Expert, like, if you electrocute yourself or zap yourself, it's only one turn, feeling fine is pretty good. There's an illusion. I was starting to wonder if the rematch is the only fight he does the illusions on. I guess he just never chose to do an illusion for me till now. Okay, then. All right. Oh, perfect, exactly. Just enough. So, uh, yeah, this uh, battle, not too much changed, but once again, we do have a rematch to see, so... Watch, the bits have defense, and so now you can't use Spiny Surge on it. Holy moly, 42 star points. Look at that. Yeah, Crystal King gives uh, some of the highest count of star points out of all the bosses. My guess is that's because they didn't account for it having four enemies at the start. Ah, really? Good point. So that gives like a 30% bonus? 30% of, uh, well, 30 itself would be at around, well, 10, 9. It's still I high know, for some reason. I know that if Mario is level 1 and beats the Crystal King, that the maximum is actually 50 star points. I don't think the max is 50 per enemy in this, is it? I'm not sure. I know I've gotten more. Th I've gotten more than that via doubling. I don't think it caps at fifty. Yeah, if anything, the absolute cap is definitely one hundred. Because one hundred is actually the strict cap in TTYD. That is, if you're fortunate enough to get two amazing daisies uh, in the nineties floors of the pit, or twenty green fuzzies in a uh, Glitzville. Yeah, I suppose. Or really anywhere that has green fuzzies. Oh, they're so annoying. Well, you won't be you won't be high enough level to get them that quickly. <laughs> That's just at a normal level in Glitzville, though. Rubba says you cannot attack. Only your buddy can attack. Fuzzies. Turn replicate. Turn replicate. Turn replicate. Is that what you're referring to, JD Easter? Something like that. I mean, you could do it on purpose as well. <laughs> Fair point. I might have to rewind that Bowser quote. He said something about a pill. I don't think I remember reading that. Oh, gosh darn it, I haven't been paying attention to the game chat because I've been looking yeah. at Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah. He says, oh, don't be such a pill. You're oh stuck my with people gosh. for a long time, beautiful. You I'm looking at the stuff. wrong text boxes. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, Yankee gal. 
Alright, let's see here around 9 o'clock. So yeah, I think the rest of our stream, we're gonna go get that star beam. Uh, we're gonna do backtracking, we're gonna set ourselves up to start the uh, super boss battle stream. Provided we can get down the mountain, because last time I played through Paper Mario was my Mario alone run, and I totally died going down the mountain because I wasn't, like, thinking I'd need to be prepared. But then, you know, the gulpits just smacked me to death, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you know. Alright, and now we have Up and Away, which will randomly make enemies disappear. Is the random I win button. Uh, knowing pro mode, it's probably not uh, as likely, but uh, probably can still happen. No, they just up the star power cost to five. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too big. Oh, it doesn't what show the it? cost oh, here. Vanilla. Okay. I want to say it's just two in vanilla. I clearly need to get into a battle and try up and away right now. I'm pretty sure it's two. It may be three. I'm pretty sure it's two, though. I think it's two. Alright, I should be able to pick this up now. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm still carrying too many items. I need to deposit my pebble somewhere! <laughs> no! Alright, we'll go ahead and try it this battle here, so... Uh, up and away, it's five! Art, wow, you called it, JD Aster. Okay! I called it too. Evelar's like, I'm gonna take all your star power to do this! My star power is gone, but the enemy's defeated. My star power is gone. <laughs> You know, now I'm thinking uh, you're on to something, Jade Easter. I don't think it's less likely. It's just uh, buy star power. Uh, I miss you. Please come back. i have to equip those deep focus badges. It's like, come on, everybody. Time to do some group focusing. Kevlar needs all the power. <laughs> Oh, I don't have quick camera on anymore. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll I'll be taking counter attack. Yeah, you gotta get those, you know, star points. Unless you're playing Luigi's Challenge, then you just up and away uh, to your heart's content. Granted, you don't have much heart's content to do it with, so... <laughs> uh, GG. I would have appreciated still being able to use spin attack for Luigi's challenge, but alas. Nah, I pressed A, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's right, Mario Kart expert, and given the fact that the super boss battles do give experience, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm Gonna be getting close to that level 27 limit by the time I'm done with all of them. Master 3 doesn't give you any experience. Uh, and then all that remains is the gauntlet, which I could do. In fact, I might be able to do 5, 6, 7 this stream. That might not be a bad idea. In any case. So yeah, Albino Dino appeared as a boss, kind of mini bosses battle. Means that he probably appears right at the end of the gauntlet challenge, too. So. Oh, I forgot culprits on this stupid road. This is what messed me up last time. Nope. Go. Nope. Alright, up here. Okay. You want? No. I am actually going to engage with you. I'm going to blow your ass up. Over here. Over here. 
L. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, finally. All right. I'm disappointed that the Albino Dino in Chapter 7, that was the only one, though, when I played through it. Yeah. Still I was honestly expecting another battle after the puzzle room. Like, you've solved our puzzle, now battle us, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Uh, let me think for a moment. Alright, so, since you had Defend Plus and you had both damage dodges and only took two damage from Guard, that means Albino Dinos have four attack. Well, seeing how skilled people have gotten at pre-hooktail challenges, Yankee Gal, I would not be surprised if somebody actually did go through the effort of trying to do a pre-hooktail Mario alone, but it is definitely uh, not a friendly challenge. Uh, having partners it to would assist be you. Incredibly boring. It would be now boring. DHP Mario alone. All right. So, let's get our butts to Toad Town. Uh, no plans to do another uh, pre hook tail uh, run, Yankee Gal. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Favorite quote out of that uh, pre hooktail run was the augmented space trash cans. <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of what they look like, so. What, all the wizards? Yes. Alright, actually, you know what, Taste Tea, you're here. I'm gonna want a Jelly Ultra. That's how the cool people pronounce it, the wizards. Wizards, F you. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That Jelly Ultra, I am going to store, because I think that is a good final Bowser item. Uh, so yeah, storing that right now. And then yeah, uh, yeah, we have a couple places we could go. Uh, backtracking, uh, gauntlets, um, go get, I should go get Starview, actually. All right, Jelly Ultra, and on that note, uh, I ain't holding anything that'd be nice to pick up right now. Uh, repel gels, a cake, actually the cake. We'll, we'll pick up the cake. All right, let's go get that star beam. Correct. That's why we are going to bed. And we're just going to leave Cooper outside. <laughs> anyway, Star Road, unless there's a new enemy thrown in there, is just all embers. And it's really nice to use the ice power uh, multi bounce on them. Uh, X power. Multi bounce. There we go. No pipe here still, and I've gone through most of the game. The only thing I haven't done is actual chapter 8, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll see what appears there. It's probably a connection between Bowser's Castle and uh, Toad Town, which, ironic, there's a pipe that's just so sitting Peach's there. Peach's Castle. Or Peach's Castle. How ironic. The that way to be... Peach's Castle is there <laughs> this entire time. Most useless pipe ever for when her castle is on the ground. There we go. At least that toad that's hiding in the one bedroom will have a way out. <laughs> now, who is this speaking, by the way? With this, should we? I actually always imagined that it was Eldstar. Yeah, me too. 
Uh, all the star spirits kind of have that same starry sounds. That's a good point. So, but uh, I think it makes more sense that it's Eldstar speaking. Well, he is the well, probably the leader. He is the Elder Star. At least he has the most seniority, even if he's not the leader, so. Star seniority. Oh, okay. Here's our pro mode gimmick. Multi-bounce is not going to work because some of these guys are just invisible. Because, you know, why not? Transparency is the worst in pro mode. My I'm goodness. just about to get the star beam. Why? Uh, okay. You're just gonna sit there and be all hockey and invisible while I can't do anything. All right. Oh, six turns. Do not let your partner get hit. Wow, okay. Uh, you're out of this, Goombario. Uh, good luck. Not that Goombario could attack, but still. Now I can multi-bounce. Well, that's one way to spice up these battles. This is a bomb bet should be decently useful to blow them up. Too fast, okay. Perfect. See a Arantula in a challenge run, just run away from it. Even if you have to defeat. <laughs> Never yeah. mind that that's not a thing one can do. <laughs> uh, so the answer, Mega Raptor, uh, is uh, your first option is if you have a Courage Cell, uh, that's a good idea. If you have the badges to plop on defense or power lift, also good idea. Uh, otherwise, I hope uh, we can get lucky with some confusion, but barring all that, I hope you're good at that B button. Oh yeah, sure, I first strike and he's invisible when I, okay game. It's as if you're fighting a boo. <laughs> Just spit out another invisible guy, wow. Okay. Actually, you wanna refresh just because we're in a good state to do it. Not doing anything else. Yes, we're definitely checking out this shop once we make it up to uh, Star Haven here. Nice partner guards. I always <laughs> love seeing that. Thanks. Yeah, the partner guards are always very nice. I missed that one, unfortunately. Sorry, Bombet. Uh, see you later. Uh, six turns. Bye. It's okay. If it's a fire, then it's fine. Always let Bombet get hit if it's fire. Be it. There might be one more ember on this path. And nope, nope, it isn't. All right, Star Haven, we're here.
Where exactly do you get the star beam? Uh, you get it it's just starting. before you start chapter 8, actually, so... I did not know that. Alright, let's go check out that shop. Oh, shop's over here. Final shop in the game, and I am seeing stuff like clocks, shooting stars, live shrooms. All for good prices, too. I don't think the shop's actually changed, but still, good shop. And that's still the bed. I'm surprised this shop is even selling super sodas when you could just purchase honey <laughs> syrups and cook those. Sure, why not? Well, more so that, like, convenience. Super sodas are actually better than maple syrup in this game in battle because they do 10 FP. So why sell them both? <laughs> yeah. Uh, good point, Pete. There is also a shop in Bowser's Castle. Uh, that's that little Goomba guy who's like, you know, I'm supposed to like be against you, but you wanna know what? I don't feel like following Bowser, and like I could make some money here. You want to buy anything? He says something he like sells, that. He sells Mario's to I own. He sells items to Mario because he's bored. Oh, that's right. He's because he's bored. You can also check items for whatever reason. I I, I guess the Mushroom Kingdom is a really good. Uh, <laughs> A sky shipping system that we have not used at all to get up to Bowser's castle. So, all right, yep. do, all right, do we have to take the starship right now? It's a really awesome cutscene, no, and I prefer to, to do this once we, we start. To, we don't have to take it right now. No. Okay, good, good. It's an awesome cutscene. I want to save it for later. Uh, the starship oh, can that wait. That actually reminds me about something about the starship. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, uh, when Fat Guy started his blind pro mode, he actually noticed something that I did not actually notice myself until recently. When Bowser's really? Castle lifts Peach's Castle up into the sky in the opening cutscene, if you look closely enough, you can actually see the top of the Star Haven starship. Wow. Wow. Is this real? This almost sounds like you're trolling. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna have to look at it again. Yeah, it's like it's like you can barely see the top of it after Bowser's castle clears the ground. It's like it's like sticking out of the hole. Wow. Nope. But you wanna know what? I now have the star beam, so I can be like, you wanna know what? No. And it doesn't even cost any star power to use. Invisible, be gone! <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Glorious. I agree. Alright, so if I bomb one, it's not going to kill him. And last I checked, he does duplicate, but I'm not actually sure if he does. And, yeah, I'm going to bomb him. Mega bomb? I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Zero plus one damage to everything? <laughs> On the note of the starship, I ought to take a look at that again and compare it to Mario Party 5. One of those rides for random ride the mini game. Oh. Mario Party 5 was the one that had all the star spirits as like the party guide, if I remember right. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't yes. think I ever recognized that was based off that. Yeah, Scholar actually was the host of actually probably my favorite mode in Mario Party 5, the Super Duel. Oh man, that was fun. Yeah, I actually have uh, I actually have quite a pretty balanced machine. I don't remember all the components of it, but I think I did have at least one EGAD part, and I want to say it was the jet. I loved the jets; those were yeah. amazing. It was uh, it was very balanced for high speed, high mobility. And my weapon of choice was actually the Mr. Eye Laser, which did a solid two parts. Yeah, the Eye Laser was always fun. So broken, but I loved it. All A lot right. of the weapons in Super Duel mode were uh, pretty interesting, to be honest. All right. Definitely. 
We got quiz question, Koopa Coot favors. Let's try those Koopa Coot favors first. And if we run into check quiz mode, we'll just do the quiz then. Yep, sounds good. All right. But yeah, you... Dark Mario, what was your favorite weapon aside from the Mr. Eye laser in Super Duel cool mode? I don't remember of... using anything else, honestly. I used the, like, EGAD cannon at some point. Yeah, the EGAD cannon was pretty good. Nice and homing missile. Yeah. The uh, uh, bomb cannon was pretty good, too. I think I enjoyed the bullet bill weapon, and also... Ah, uh, yes, the bullet bill cannon. Probably... Just for the sake of, I like getting up to my opponents and just flaming them with fire breath. Just for the sake of it. Ah, uh, yes, the Bowser Torch. You know what I never really got the hang of, though? A vehicle using all the DK points. That was the toughest because it was random. It was entirely random. It's like, it seemed as though every time I went in with all those components, I would just be so goddamn sluggish. Unlike when you face off against D DK as an AI, and he's just <laughs> zipping all over the place. Going, <laughs> with the best stats, my goodness. And then there's Toad with his basic mushroom freaking thing. Ah, man, you're gonna make me go out to Dry Dry Desert and try to pull up the map again? Okay. Alright, game. Have to go get a lime. Ooh, right. Yeah, I think I actually should have probably mentioned that to you at one stream or another that uh, that was actually a favor. Alright, off we go into the desert again, everybody. Spike makes a good point. Do save state with Chuck Quizmo if you plan on running through every single question now. Uh, he's been doing that pretty consistently, honestly. Yep. That was the plan. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like I forgot that I've watched your streams. My goodness. <laughs> I don't think that fat guy is actually doing save states for the Chuck Quizmo quizzes. I think he's taking them in stride. Mm. I definitely know that Cappy save stated through all the questions, so. Which I actually have to hope that Cappy tells Fat Guy to save state after Chapter 8, because, not Chapter 8, Chapter 7. Because for me, I accidentally got one question wrong, accidentally. I just got one question wrong. I remember the question number, and now I can't find Chuck Quizmo at all. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, when I did my last casual run of Vanilla Paper Mario, I actually failed two questions, but I was able to make up for them. So I had 64 out of 66 at the end. <laughs> yeah. Went the wrong way. Thought I was at the bottom of the yeah. net. Nope. I, I remember that one of the questions I actually got wrong was the color of Peach's brooch. But I don't remember what the other one was. Don't forget to go back to Dry Dry Outpost. The Pokey Storm. What? Oh yeah, never mind. What am I saying? You did unlock the metal block. Yep. Unlock, excuse me, break. Same difference. It'll ruin the blind experience. I, I think I still have one of these on me, so I don't have to go kick one, okay. There we go. Fortunately, I'm giving up my cookie. cookie. Lions of albino dinos! You're world cross, Mario! Okay. Okay. Super cute. Funny that he says that when you can't have possibly encountered them if you do, like, it at the first time possible. Because all of the, uh, all of the favors are available before Chapter 7. Gabby, I don't doubt that fact I would actually say no to your suggestion because you would probably be like, No, I want to do them legit. <laughs> nice impression. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was the most spot-on impression <laughs> I've ever heard. Uh, 
All right, I wanted the booze and Gulsty. Gulch has another package for Koop Koot. I think it's one of the booze and either the first or the second string of the Gulch. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> that <laughs> nearly all of them. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, it's definitely probably on the first screen. I think it's like the second one you can talk to. Oh yeah, and you have to wander some screens away. I think you only have to wander one screen. I'm doing two screens to be sure. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. Guy. Got a bat over here. We got the package. Mario oh, FedEx. No. Actually, you know what? Since we're doing God deliveries, Paracary is now our partner. God damn it, I'm suddenly reminded of the movie Castaway. Postman's job is never done! This package saved my life. May as well bring this para hyper Goomba with you. Jeez. Uh, Omega, in vanilla, their attack power charges by 6, which will leave them at 8 attack power. So, yes, their damage would be uh, 16 total. Or is it 7? I don't know. I know their base attack and Actually, no. In vanilla, their base attack was 1, so they charge by 7. Oh, go get a coconut. Okay. Well, I'd, I hope you have one in the item storage. I, did I put one? Oh, well, we'll head to Yoshi's I think you did. island and uh, double check our storage. <laughs> if not, uh, it's not that much of a detour to get a coconut, unless I'm thinking of the wrong place. No, no, you get coconuts in Yoshi's island. By the way, Speedy Spin, the unsung hero of this playthrough. Alright, do we have a coconut? No, we don't! Okay! Go get a coconut. Say, do you drop coconuts? Okay, you do. Sweet. I don't even have to go outside the village. That blue Yoshi just watches Mario snag a coconut and run away and be like, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nope. No speedy spin in TTYD. But then you get Yoshi in Chapter 3. Oh, I totally took the wrong place. Chapter 1. Or after Chapter 1. Or, no, wait. Yeah, Chapter 1 was right. I think. Well, no Yoshi for you, either in Hooktail's Castle or Bogley Woods, and you have to go a little bit through the Glitz Pit before you can get your Yoshi. Do any of you actually go for a specific Yoshi color? Always well, blue. I've been trying to get blue, but I haven't really been trying. Everybody always loves the blue, huh? <laughs> I always go for the black one. Blue's just my favorite color. Yeah, I don't doubt it. But Blue complements just... the best el emblem well. Yeah, the wah emblem. The wah emblem, you mean. Wah. Ever since I found out that the orange color was possible, it's always been either orange or black. No love for the green one? Oh, just... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I use... Green one's alright. I used to love green quite a bit, but then I just I see the black design and I'm just like, I need this in my life every time. Hmm. I got the green one during my first playthrough of TTYD, <laughs> if that counts. Yeah, I did too. I think everyone did, unless they absolutely sucked at the glitz face. 
Well, yeah. you, you have to be pretty dang fast to get green on purpose. I think... Right. That are very, yeah. very, very slow. Which is probably the more likely <laughs> case. I just remember the I was tower. slightly faster than very slow and got a pink one the first time I played. I was about I to say... I think it was a pink one that I got an EP on the... I don't remember. I'm just gonna stop trying to talk. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, let's start doing some uh, gauntlets then, why don't we? Yeah, I think you actually have yet to do chapter 5 or 6s. Yep, that's why I put on a zap tap. Let's also get 4 FP here. You could probably run a combination of uh, multi-bounce and spike shield, too. Mmm, Power Quake. Darth Mohawk, I see you with that uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance slash Radiant Dawn name there. Nice. Well, I guess this one's a gimme. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay, Zap Tap! Anyway, as I was about to say, I remember from Sugar Conroy's TTYD LP that uh, he actually got the pink Yoshi, and I remember he called it Scrap. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was one of the suggestions. Yep. And then that also made a return as one of the suggestions for, uh, for Kudge's, uh, Cancer Race for him to shout out to the did Nintendo actually put a filter on, like, what you could do? No, they did not. Because I remember <laughs> one of the first videos I saw at that moment, someone had got to say, FUCK YOU! <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Seeing as I just watched a video by Mark Brown about making the players uh, save them from themselves, uh, well, no saving the player from getting into mischief there. <laughs> Way to go. Alright, spear nope. guys are a pain in the butt, so... Right. So that's worth pulling out Paracarry for that uh, 7 damage. I do not feel like being poked to death again. <laughs> Oh, on enemy, but okay, whatever. Whatever, I'm kind of in a safe uh, situation right now, so uh, all is well. <laughs> we'll just take it slow. So yeah, uh, fun little note about Omi's first video, he actually had to burn his, the Fire Flower early. Hmm. Yeah, because, uh, he accidentally jumped on a spiked Goomba. I hate jumping on spiked Goombas. Yeah, and he had, uh, he had 7 HP, so it's just like, rip, I'm not wasting a mushroom on this. Burn. Fire Flower. Nice. And yet, Red Goomba is, for some reason, immune to fire. Yes, Darth Mohawk is correct. The Iron Clouds will pierce any defense-improving badges that you have. I think it even bypasses powerless power boosting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just normal defense. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal defense. The only thing that it doesn't go past is guarding. And, and P down D up, presumably. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it pierces through that defense, too. 
It's Seriously? any defense increasing badge. But no, it doesn't increase defense. That's the thing. It decreases damage dealt. And no other defense piercing attack uh, gets Have through. Have you tested that? I haven't, but no other piercing attack gets through it. So I'm um, assuming it's the case. The earliest... Their defense is... Someone needs piercing. to test that badge. Key down, yep, you can get... Isn't it chapter 2? Yeah, your partner can get one in chapter 2. Okay, I'm gonna test that out whenever I get the chance. I just passed them in doing prep for my community challenge run on the Glitz. Oh, I already did that, and I destroyed Bowser and Grubba. I have really fun strats. Hopefully RNG won't be a total jerk. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. I'm not saying anything else, but I... I two-turned Macho Grubba. Nice. I couldn't attack on the first turn because he didn't have the fast status. It's okay. Macho Grubba can't attack on the first turn either. Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, he can, but I guess. What was that about no super guards? Because I didn't need to. I didn't even need super guard. It's kind of like how my, my joke solution for Magnus, it's like, okay, do what I always do for Magnus. <laughs> having double pain or having to not kill the X-Fist changes nothing. You can just one-shot really, him with the power really bounce. Doesn't. I think I overcharged on that fight. No, I got the damage exactly. Nice. I did like... Um, what was it, like... 11, 10 plus the damage that I had previously done down with my partner. And I absolutely destroyed him. And I even power bounced and failed the action command. You're burning through that FP rather fast for chapter 5 enemies. Oh, Power Quake will do that. That's actually Help why you. I went after the Magic Koopa and just took the hit for a refresh. Yeah. Then the fact that he's using Flower Saver instead of Flower Fanatic. That, that's uh, true, too. Oh, hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would say couldn't afford to t spend the two not on Feeling Vine, but then apparently you didn't spend it on Feeling Vine. Oh, hello, Chomp. Oh, I didn't realize they had 6 HP in here. Wait. Why is it Chain Chomp in the Chapter 5? Did they add Chain Chomp I... to um, <laughs> Lava Lava Island? Because pro mode. <laughs> yep. Indeed. I actually think I only have plus 2 attack at the moment, so... Uh, somebody's gonna get a power increase here. Yep. Just one of the lava bubbles. All right, that's not too bad. I could just lap out the lava bubble now. Not even have to deal with it. All right, well, go kill a chain chomp. Or we could take care of the attack guy. Yep, chain chomp. Chain chomp. There we go. Just one round left. Who's our final battle here? This actually isn't all that bad, all things considered. Yeah. Suddenly albino dino. Nah. <laughs> Suddenly albino dino. It's just like chapter four. Hey, Magic Koopa, close enough. <laughs> Say fans back a seven. Right on that one. Oh, wait, all the F. Actually, you wanna. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. Oh, here we go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my gosh.
it actually worked. I may want to remember airlift for magic Koopas then. There oh, we go. Early spell wore off. It did. Ooh, hey, we got an item from that. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go store that and uh, heal up and get ready for the chapter six one where I'm gonna that extra attack. Ooh, an ultra shroom. Unless you want to cook that ultra shroom with another one of your syrups or if you have a jelly in storage. That's actually another half bad idea. I don't remember seeing a jam and jelly though when you checked that Yoshi shop. No, there. I don't think he did. I don't think that you have one in storage. Although I don't think you used your jam and jelly from the palace. No, I don't think so. Well, let's see here. We have zaps. We have some stupid rough puff enemies. I wouldn't put it past Clover to actually put an Amazing Daisy in there at some point. Ah, oh, yeah, good point. Good point. Also, don't forget about oh, the have you not done the Chapter things. 6 one yet, either? Nope. Oh, yeah. Get ready. <laughs> Alright. That's right, the Chapter 4 one that you did had that uh, deadly guy at the end as well. Dizzy Attack will not save you this time, either. No, no, it won't. I actually do not have a gem and jelly on me right now, believe it or not. Huh. Wonder what happened to the one that you picked up. I, I know I he cooked one of them, so... You cooked it. Oh, okay. I definitely wasn't paying attention then. Whoops. Yes, let, let, let's, let's add 5 FP to our 50 HP heal. <laughs> Decrease the item storage space. That, that, there, there you go. It's a recipe, after all. And I mean, if you want to get all the recipes without doing little oinks farming, you kind of have to do stuff like that, so. <laughs> Time to harm the pigs. I mean, to be fair, I did leave a jam and jelly behind at Crystal Palace, so. The trick is you to replace all of the... Screen at some point, I suppose, and get that. The trick is to replace all the items outside the Crystal Palace with pebbles. <laughs> I just carry in dusty hammers from Dry Dry Outpost. <laughs> yes, Pete does have a point. You also did miss that uh, other jam and jelly in uh, Chapter 6. Yeah, and that one I lost, so rip me. Yeah, you can just farm jam and jellies from Amazing Daisy battles. It's a, like a it's a one in two hundred chance. Good call on that uh, save state, though, Mouse Luigi. <laughs> Thanks. I have still not been able to hit a guard on that crazy Daisy. And you just hit it like a champ. Nice. Yes. Well, I, I can't airlift this guy, so what? Go. I mean, he'll just run away anyway, won't he? Well, we might as well give him more incentive to run away, right? But anything about crazy daisies in TTYD? Um, it's actually harder to guard them in 50 hertz than it is in 60 hertz because the timing is way off. Yeah, I knew that. It's because it's about TTYD. <laughs> Just don't inflict shrink on them. <laughs> oh, yeah. No one's gonna go do that. It seems like Crazy Daisies are probably easier to guard just by visual effect in this game. But I don't know. I'm also not hearing the music, so <laughs> I'm biased. I ought to be ashamed of myself. I can hit the guard for booze, but I can't hit the guard for Crazy Daisies. Alright, time for fast throwing stones to come my way. Here we go. 
Oh, geez, these do way more damage than I thought they did. I'm gonna have to whip out the dizzy shell if we get another line of enemies like that. Ugh, that was... I mean, in the early battles, not a good battle to just take a bunch of damage like that. It's fine. Everything's fine. All is good. All is good. Can you force a level up past 27? I don't know if you can. No, you you don't gain experience don't... after level 27 in this game. Yeah, right. I'd have yeah. to imagine even if you forced it, you'd just be at a level up screen and it'd be a soft lock, so. Yeah, it'd be a soft lock. Because it would say that every single stat is maxed out. Mm-hmm. Overleveling Mario, uh, soft locks Paper Mario, then. We just need to find a glitch that allows us to overlevel Mario. Say, do these guys have four defense? Uh, I totally forgot. I think that Spinies have three defense in vanilla. Well, well, let's, let's try the Power Shell, then. Nope, nope, okay, they have more defense. Never mind, that was a waste. Rip. Well, that's okay. My guard game is on point, so that is only two FP down. So. Thanks for the information, Spike. That actually does sound right. When you hit that max level, you just don't gain star points. You've now entered Luigi's Challenge, but not with Luigi's Challenge's perks. And 50 HP and 50 FP, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually familiar with that particular glitch, Mohawk. Nope, did not time that one. Alright. Uh, if I had health, well, throw in another refresh there. Cheap, easy, heals crap. Let's do it. It's not nerfed. A lot of the other star powers either cost more or are nerfed, so that's a benefit. Let's smack this guy to death. Three rounds left. Right. Make sure to enter the last one with plenty of HP. Du duly noted, okay. Fortunately, that Mega Bomb's not so good, but you know what? I, I see the Magic Koopa and I'm like, I don't even want to deal with this guy. And now that I know it's really good, uh, let's airlift him. Bye bye! <laughs> Airlifting Magic Koopas is now my favorite pastime, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before promote, I never used airlift, and then I go with Junior Troopa during Forever Forest, and it's a really helpful move. Which I guess the same could be said with Dizzy Shell and Cooper. Yeah, I don't know how I never thought about using it, because it was probably always good. I always found that using Dizzy Shell was actually a uh, pretty good move. Especially with the first time you face those damn Dark Koopas when you unlock the pipe to Boo's Mansion. Oh yeah, 
You can make me dizzy. I'll make you dizzy. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. I wonder if Clover or anyone actually can code Black 2 holding up a spiny above its head. Why is it Paper Mario 64? Uh, uh, doubtful. Uh, I actually didn't do get the kill. I was thinking Mario's attack power is high enough to do it. Never mind then. I guess we'll just wait for that normal attack and then take him out. Get that one point of star power back, you know? And actually, I want to just throw in another refresh, because refresh is very good right now. <laughs> Keep that HP high. Well, Yankee Gal, we don't know what fuzzy tastes like, but we do know when you touch fuzzy, you get dizzy. I would hope the jungle fuzzies, if we're going by pro mode statistics, would just paralyze your tongue. You just wouldn't taste anything anymore. Alright, oh, here we go. So we're gonna have to deal with the rough puff attack potentially. Taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, or a fan smack if you wanted it. Actually, a fan spec may not have been a bad idea there, but I just love the idea of airlifting away Magic Koopas too much. <laughs> it's too good, man, you know? It's even better when they're on the room, because the room comes with. Pretty ridiculous. Oh my goodness, Mario Kart Expert, let's not even go there. Uh, I hope not. Oh, that would suck. Well, here's our Amazy Daisy. <laughs> That's actually what they replaced the Anti-Guys unit with. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the Amazy unit. Oh yeah, and Parish. At song. least it's only one of them. Yeah. I'm about to say, I've never tattled them, surprisingly, so let's go ahead and just get that taken care of right now. They have 30 HP. So you're home free if you uh, don't die on the first attack. You can just out of sight your way to a win. Oh, yeah. Actually, do I have a partner that could do that six damage through defense? Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe, oh, maybe Paracary. Yeah, I don't remember how much defense. I, I don't know if I bank on them having one defense still. Hmm. Safe. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past promo to have it have two defense, but I don't remember. You know, I still have that life shroom, so if this just botches, I, I guess I'll just eat the life shroom then, because I want to find out. All right, Paracarry, let's do this. It's still one defense. We're good. Nice. Woo! Looks like I'll be putting in my suggestion then to raise it one by one more defense. <laughs> okay. You're going to be a dick. That got us a jam and jelly, so yeah, let's go ahead and make another uh, jelly ultra then. I have a lot of evil intentions for a completed pro mode. But of course I'd hold myself to the Super Mario Maker standards. I have to beat it myself. <laughs> okay. And I won't put my I won't put any War pipes to make it easy for me. <laughs> okay. That's already almost nearing 10 p.m. Oh, indeed. Well, there's only one more gauntlet to go through, and it's the Chapter 7 gauntlet, so I think we could fit that in. And save yep. right in the yeah. Super Boss uh, uh, chambers, so. 
Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Maybe a, bit of, maybe a bit of a change to the badge setup. Yeah, for chapter seven. I'd say this overall setup is just serving me really, really well, though. Down I jump mean, quick hammer. Yeah, Zap Tap is still going to be useful for the Duple Ghost as well as the Frost Piranhas for their bite. And Duple the Ghosts weren't. Rid of rocks. I'd about to say the Duple Ghosts weren't my biggest issue. The Gulpits were my biggest issue, honestly. Yeah, but with a lot of FP, you could easily oh, yeah. neutralize them. You, did you take on Master 3 at some point? Master 3, I am... I showed him off, and I planned on saving uh, him for the uh, the last quote-unquote super boss. Yeah. When he showed off uh, Master 3's first fool, I was just like, well then. Since he does something so cool at the beginning, I'm like, okay, my audience needs to see this, and unfortunately I got spoiled to it, so here you go. Here it is, and then amazingness, and if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's ridiculous. I think you could honestly get away with uh, unequipping D-Down Jump and Quake Hammer and put on Mega Quake. Uh, but you have to remember the albino dinos have all that big chunk of defense that'll be useful there. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because Quake Hammer pierces defense. Just keep using those quakes, huh? Oh, I'm gonna just do BP. Gotta use that FP for something. I was put on D down pound. <laughs> uh, happy hearts, give up the HP. Let's say I'm get away from the crazies and the crazy heart, but I am not taking off feeling fine. Power quake, just have an option. <laughs> I did that for like most I said, of chapter I'll seven. Alright, so quake camera is five, them. watt is five, they have 20 HP, so actually I'm gonna plop on happy heart instead. Oh, not chapter one through four. Chapter seven. All right. At least you got through that Amazy Daisy fight. I'm usually against using items, but I just had a feeling that the Amazy Daisy would have been the last fight during my run. So I was like, you know what? Let me just put in Fright Jar just because I don't want to deal with that. And it worked on them? Yeah, because the daisies are timid. They have, I believe, like 100% or 105%. Yeah, that's fair. I, I wasn't sure if they'd have changed that in pro mode. I wouldn't put it past it. I thought that it would have failed, because I was like, wait a second. Because after I used it, I was like, wait, you probably changed that. I mean, I guess I'll take this outcome, because I didn't use the fire shell and use a lot of uh, the FP, but... That was still the wrong move. Oh well. Oh well, we live. But yes, Darth Mohawk. Thank fuck for Starby. Get out of here. There we go. Oh hey, we might get a level up in the middle of this because I'm still getting star points from these battles. Let's uh, hit you. Actually, how susceptible are you to Dizzy? Let's find out. Susceptible enough for me! I'll take it! Get out of here. Wait, I'm going, maybe I should have put on Happy Flower, not Heart. Free FP heal for all intents and purposes. Uh, do nothing, focus, finish him off. There are many times during my non Luigi's challenge run that I was like, man, I should have equipped group focus. <laughs> group focus, so elusive. 
It's actually one of the badges that I loved using during just my standard first time playthrough of Paper Mario. I just found it so helpful. Uh, Omega Raptor, indeed I do. Uh, if somebody could post an invite link, I would appreciate that. Thank you, GD Easter. And I think I timed this out well, because I think I'm going to get a level up in the middle of this gauntlet. Nice. <sighs> Wouldn't be surprising, honestly. Heaven knows you need the FP. It'd be helpful, yeah. What with your 29 out of 30? <laughs> so I guess like for... Hold on. Nah, I'll say it when we get to it. something a little bit different. If you haven't already, Omega Raptor, you should do BP only. If you've done that, do level zero. And do not try pre-hooktail Mario alone. <laughs> it's a because... stupid, stupid idea. Yeah. Basically, prologue pit unrandomized. HP only is boring as hell. Just do BP only, uh. Yeah. Free Hooktail pit run. Hmm. We'll find out, Mario Kart expert. Oh, geez, yeah, I'm lining myself up for a level up, so I might as well just use that FP like I'm doing right now, actually. Level Zero is pretty fun. It requires a lot of strategy. Well, it doesn't really require it, but you can use strategy in it, and it's pretty fun. Level up in the middle of the gauntlet, I'll take it. Amazing. <laughs> Came at a good time too, just get that FP I uh, heal yes. in. Spectacular. You amaze me, Miles Luigi. And if none of you get what I'm referencing, go An exact level things. up as well. It was totally planned, guys. Oh, wow, I just realized this is the round with the two Dubly Ghosts, the Red Magikoopa, and the Gray Magikoopa. Way to take them out like a champ, Miles Luigi. <laughs> this, is, this is the round that I died at because I got unlucky, got the bow treatment. Oh, oh, oh. oh here's our albino dino. 
The worst part about it is I actually successfully did the guard like twice. <laughs> and then the last four were unsuccessful. And that's when I died and I kind of like sat back and realized, wait, if I had failed all those guards, I would have taken this much damage. Wow. Yeah, that's the but point I was going to crash for me. Bring up a Darth Mohawk just one. That's what I want to figure out. That's something in the coding for that because, like with the red clubbers, there was only just one red clubber, and then maybe a green clubber. Oh, hey, another repel gel. Not bad. All right. Well, other than the standout pebble in my item inventory this actually is not that bad of an item inventory for super bosses and if i am really chewing through items i can go cook more so unless there's any other backtrack and do i think we are done for tonight don't worry save that pebble for how to beat bowser like a real man in pro <laughs> mode yeah <laughs> how to beat bowser <laughs> like a real man in pro mode a no, real the pro bowser super boss Jeez. <laughs> Actually, no, this is just super bad. Boss is going to be something. I will say that right now. Yay! So I'm going into the super bosses pretty well blind. Uh, I have seen Wayoshi do a little bit of the Koopa Bros one, but it was so long ago I forgot what he did again. He didn't realize he could use Starbeam to get rid of their buffs until very late into the fight. Hmm. Oh yeah, Mario Kart Expert, I do recommend that. Finish Chuck Quizmo as well. And if X Omega Raptor is correct in saying he's done with pro mode completely, then that means he also did Chuck Quizmo and he realized what is also a thing. But I won't spoil that. You're gonna have to DM me what is also a thing, because I I had what should be a finished file, but I'm missing two star pieces. Oh, that's uh. Did you uh, answer every Chuck Wismo question, JD Acer? The pe the sign says 62, but I can't find him anymore for the last two. If he oh. was still 64. My you, goodness. You, you want to keep spamming going between uh, town areas like... No, but he, like, left well, after the 60 second. No, exactly. That's that's oh. the one I'm talking about, JD Acer. That is the question that I didn't save state on. No, but he's still... Wait, what was the question? That's why I don't want to spoil Tomorrow's Luigi, because that's what will... Um, okay. Should've... Yeah. But, you know, if you are going to do Chuck Quizmo, which I highly recommend. Oh, yeah, I haven't done Chuck Quizmo quiz questions yet. Uh, but it's like, I'm here in the Star Palace. Like, can, can it wait? I think it can wait. Yeah, I mean, if you are about to... Do of next stream, maybe. You're about to end the stream anyway. I'm not going to say, like, do Chuck Quizmo right now. Go do Chuck Quizmo now! Oh, oh, I, I don't think that you can access Bowser Super Boss until you beat Hallway Bowser, so... Oh, really? Okay. JD is right. We've confirmed that. I think that's how it works. All I right. didn't actually confirm that, but I do know that the Chapter 8 enemy thing won't appear until then. Oh, yeah, the gauntlet, right? Alright, so yeah, this badge setup that I currently got is probably going to be the usual bad setup for a lot of the super bosses but we'll see if i mix it up because uh there may be failure next stream uh there will definitely be super bosses though i hope you guys are hype uh if you want to get hype can't wait oh boy. all right I, I am very much looking forward to it all right i have seen every super boss fight and uh yeah it's some interesting stuff I am making another save state at this exact point because I haven't fought any of the super bosses and in case I want to come back to do it. Or can you refight super bosses? You can. Oh, really? Never mind then. Save state was useless, but I made it anyway. So. Useless save state. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank
thanks everybody for joining. Um, hopefully, now that I'm using the good microphone, now that I found OBS does the noise suppression and whatnot, hopefully some better streams. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, uh, super boss battles next time. So if you want to fight the super bosses yourself, get playing. <laughs> Without, yeah, you know, you know what I meant. You know Just what I sure meant. Make sure you bring plenty of healing items. Yeah, yep. definitely. So yeah, as before, I'm gonna be starting with uh, well, the repel gel, the cake, I, I guess a pebble, uh, and some sweet shrooms. And if I go through them and I'm like, man, I need more, I'll uh, I'll go cook more. So, in any case, I'm uh, I'm done for tonight. So, uh, does anyone else have anything else to say or something I haven't asked? Is anyone else gonna stream and I could host them? I'm not streaming today. Stream. Yeah, no. Okay. Figured I would you just offer it. You don't need any items for these super bosses, Miles Luigi. <laughs> do yeah, it itemless. <laughs> I'm a pro. Anyone can do it. We're well, gonna do these super bosses at level 22, everybody. So, in any case, Look good night, everybody. Peace, everyone. See ya.